So you're probably wondering why I decided to even do this, and to be honest, I really don't know. It is absolutely going to suck, but hopefully you at least get a little bit of enjoyment out of watching me torture myself trying to use all of these unconventional fonts. Should you choose sequel or no sequel? Why not just choose both? HarperDB, today's video sponsor, is a distributed database that combines together the power of SQL and NoSQL and exposes it to you through a REST API, which means that you don't need to learn some crazy new database language to work with this. You just use your already existent web development skills and you can do everything that you need to do with this database, just like you would with SQL. On top of that, HarperDB has an incredible web interface, which allows you to do any of that mundane, difficult database tasks, such as managing and clustering your databases, all without writing a single line of code, and it's super intuitive and well-designed, which makes working with it so much nicer. On top of that, they have a great React hook for integrating this inside of a React project. And best of all, you can get started completely for free forever. But if you want to up your server to make it even more powerful, you can use the code WebDevSimplified to get $250 in credit. So make sure you use the link down in the description below to check out HarperDB. Welcome back to WebDevSimplified. My name is Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. Now for this video, I'm going to be using the code from my linked list project, which you can check out the video, I'll put it in the cards and description, but really it doesn't matter that you know what the code does or even how it works. I just wanted to choose a project that has a decent amount of code and that we even have some tests for so that way we can really see the effects of all of these different fonts. And speaking of different fonts, I have a list of a few different fonts that I want to use and see if I can program with them. Because normally when you're programming, you use a mono space font like this, and it makes it really easy to read and see what's going on. But if you've ever tried to program with a non mono space font, you're going to see that it is nearly impossible. So in this video, I wanted to use all of the worst fonts I could think of, starting with the classic Times New Roman and working our way all the way up to the infamous Comic Sans. So let's change our font. We can just go file preferences settings here. And as you can see, we have our font family down here. And it hurts me to say this, but we're gonna change this from monospace to Times New Roman. And now if we go over to our linked list, you're gonna see this code is an absolute mess. All of our spacing is messed up. Everything is just incredibly difficult to look at. And I already hate it, just to be honest, especially the worst part is how small these spaces are. It really makes indentation hard to look at. But if we scroll down here a little ways, I have a few methods down here at the bottom I want to implement. So we're going to start with the really simple one, which is just the clear method. And oh gosh, I didn't even realize how ugly this terminal is. This is, don't look down there. <laughs> but for this clear method, all we're going to do is clear out our linked list. Oh man, it's so hard to tell how far tabbed I am. I am. All we need to do is just get the head. We're going to set that to null. And then we need to set the length to zero, obviously. So we'll say length is equal to zero. And this should clear out a linked list. There should be nothing in it now. So let's write the test for this. This is, this is already painful. I am really dreading getting to Comic Sans. Okay, down here at the bottom, we can say we want to describe our test here, which is going to be for clear. It's not too bad when you're typing because I'm not really looking at the code when I'm typing, but oh man, as soon as I look at it, it just it hurts my eyes. All right, we're going to say test. It clears the list. Ooh. And then what we can do is we can create a linked list. Whoops const linked list equals linked list dot from values. And we're just gonna say, for example, 10, 20. So we have two long linked list here. And we can just call linked list dot clear. And this should hopefully clear out our entire list so we could expect that our, whoops, linked list dot length, that should be zero, so to be zero. And then let's just also expect that our head, so our linked list dot head should be null. So we'll say to be null, just like that. Now, hopefully, if we come down here and run our test, even though whew, this is hard to read actually what's going on, but if we run these tests, we should see 16 out of 16 pass. So we have 100% clear. So that means that this function that we wrote actually worked, which is great news. And honestly, with this font, things aren't too bad, except for, you know, the spacing is a little annoying, but honestly, these letters are nice and big. They're fairly easy to read. And even though nothing is lined up, it's at least easy enough to see what's going on. So I'm at least okay with Times New Roman for the most part, so I'm really interested to see what some of our next fonts hold. So for our next function down here, let's change up our font again because this is just too easy. We gotta make it harder. So let's choose 
another font. This one is called Chiller. And let's just go out of here. And this one's kind of like Halloween themed font. And oh, oh man, this one's already worse. This is this is pretty much impossible to read. I'm going to zoom this in. This is like really small. One thing that I immediately noticed is that these characters are really small. Like they don't take up very much vertical height, but man, these parentheses, these are huge. And I can barely tell the difference between these curly braces and these parentheses. So this is this is going to be a fun one. Okay, get tail. This essentially wants to get the last element in our list. We should have a function up here. Let's see, get by index. So we can just use this to get our last element. Let's just say return get by, whoops, get by index. We want to do this dot length minus one. That should hopefully get us the last element in our list. Ugh. I already hate looking at this. Let's go down here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this this pound symbol is like five times the width of every other character in the entire thing. Okay. Describe. And we want to do that new function we just created, which is called get tail. And oh man, it's really hard to tell where my spacing is at just because everything looks so similar. Everything's so small. Okay, and we're gonna test here that it returns the last element. Uh, yeah, those are curly. Oh, I'm telling you, these curly braces, I can barely tell the difference between them. And let's actually just copy this up here. We're going to get the exact same linked list that has the values of 10 and 20. And then we can just say const tail. Oops, const tail is going to be that get tail function, which should hopefully return that last value. And we can just expect that tail dot value. I think it's value dot to be and that should be 20. Now let's run the test and see if that actually passed. Do, 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 do. And you can see 17 out of 17. So luckily that passed. Whew, I'm glad to be done with this. We're going to move on to this concat function here. And for our next font, we're going to use a fan favorite here. This is called Papyrus. This is a meme font very similar to Comic Sans that a lot of people love to hate. And at least this font is bigger. I can zoom this back out. And honestly, these are for the most part pretty legible. This is not too bad. These bold letters or these capital letters are pretty wide, you know, B and T, but. That's at least doable. Spacing though, oh man, these, these spaces are pretty much non-existent. They're so small. Okay, so let's take our linked list and I wanna get the last element of this linked list. Or actually, I wanna get the last element of our current linked list. So we can say dot get tail. So this is the last element of our current linked list. And then what we wanna do is just add this linked list onto the end. So we can say tail dot next is going to be equal to linked list dot head. And that should hopefully be the first element of this linked list, and we're adding it to the end of our current linked list. Hopefully that should work. So let's write a test for that. And honestly, you know, this is terrible, but at least it's legible. It is much better than the last font we used. I mean, the terminal is still absolute trash, but let's not look there. Okay, describe. What was that function that we just created called? Concat. Concat. Come in here, and honestly, this is not too bad for the most part. I thought this would be a lot worse. I'm at least able to write code. Reading it, that may be another story, but I can at least write it. So let's create a linked list here, and we'll create another one called LL2. I hate how these numbers are shorter than everything else. We'll make this 30 and 40. There we go. We can just say ll.concat LL2. Oh my gosh, yeah, this spacing is so small. Oh, I forgot our test as well. So test it concats the lists. This will be a true test to see if I can actually get this formatted up in there. There we go. Looks like the spacing worked out. Okay, so now that we've added that to the end, we can just say expect ll dot length. We expect this to be four. And let's expect ll dot get tail. We want this obviously to be having a value. So dot value to be 40. And let's run that real quick. And hopefully this passes as well, because this font is starting to get on my nerves with these. Oh, man, it didn't pass. Okay, let's see one failure. Expected for received two or the length, it looks like here. So let's see in our code. I just forgot to add the length. So we'll say this dot length is equal to our linked list dot length. Whoops. So this dot, we'll just say plus equals. There we go. So we're going to take our current length and add onto it this new length. And now hopefully when we do that, our test will actually pass and I can move on to not this font. There we go. Everything passed 18 out of 18. Now for this next font, this is a fairly popular like heading style font. It's really big and bold. So I'm kind of curious to see how it translates into a terminal and a, 
a text editor. This font's called Impact, and the terminal is actually at least somewhat more readable. It's bold, at least. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well, this is a little bit less uh, legible, that's for sure. This is color overload. I can just imagine if you had like the synth wave theme with all the bright colors, how absolutely atrocious this would be. Okay, so we're on this pop function, and man. It is super small, these spaces. This is gonna be fun to work with. So pop, we'll go on to just remove the first element and return it. So we could just say that uh, const first element is equal to this dot head. And we can say this dot head is equal to this dot head dot next. That's gonna just replace our current head with the next element. And then we can return our first element. Okay, that was fairly straightforward. I never want to read code, but at least writing it is doable. And we can move on to our test. And oh my gosh, this isn't. This bothers me too. These square brackets are smaller than these curly brackets. This just actually no. These aren't even square brackets. These are those are normal parentheses. They just are super square. Okay, let's uh, pretend that that's not a thing. So this is going to be a function which is called pop. And then inside of here, we're just going to say returns and removes the first or the head. There we go. Oh man, the spacing, this is like four indentations and it's just that small. That is crazy to think about. Okay, so we're gonna create a linked list. Linked list dot from values 10 and 20 as usual here. And all we wanna do is pop. So we'll say ll dot pop. And we should say here const first element is equal to that. Let me make sure I put the space here. Also, something that I just noticed is moving left and right is really disorienting because sometimes your cursor jumps a huge amount and then when you jump over a space, it moves super small. So it's really hard to judge how far you need to go clicking left and right. Okay, continuing. So we want to expect that ll.length is going to be one. So we'll say to be one. And we're gonna expect ll.head. We wanna get the value of that. That should be 20 because it's now our second element. And we wanna expect that our first element dot value should be 10. So let's test that out, run that, and oh my gosh, the spacing and everything is just so hard to work with. Okay, again, we got an error, of course. Let's scroll up here a little ways. It just says length to be one, we received two, so looks like we forgot to change our length. Let's just say this dot length minus minus, remove one from it. And now when we run our test, fingers crossed this should work. It's running and Yep, 19 out of 19. Perfect. So we got 100% test coverage there. And now we can move on to the final font, which is going to be for this append function here. And of course, we're going to use Comic Sans. So we'll say Comic Sans MS. That should convert us over. And the terminal is actually quite a bit more legible, which is nice. And honestly, this code is actually fairly legible, especially compared to what we were just looking at. So maybe I'm a little biased, but this is actually not too bad, to be honest. Okay, so for this append function, we need to get the last element. So we can just say... Uh, this dot get tail that's going to get our last element and if we just set the next equal to I think a new linked list node which is going to have a value which is our data and then next is going to be nothing so we just don't need to pass anything in there that should yep new linked list node value next okay perfect so this should attach a new node to the very end of our list our tail here then we can just say this dot length plus plus for adding a new element that should be all we need to do there. So let's create a test for this. We're just going to say append. This is really not too bad, honestly. I mean, these spaces are a little small. Pretty much all these fonts have really small spaces and commas, but I mean, that's, that's doable. Adds a new element to the end. There we go. So we can create our linked list like normal. I'll just copy this over. And we can just say append, and we're going to append 30 to the end of this. So we expect our linked list dot length to be three since we now have a new element and we're going to expect our linked list dot get tail dot value whoops value we want that to be 30 since we just created that new element so 30 and fingers crossed this is going to work so i never have to use any of these terrible fonts again and there we go we got 20 out of 20 passing that sucked a lot less than i thought it would I mean, the impact font was absolutely terrible, and I cannot imagine trying to read code like that. But I mean, Comic Sans wasn't that bad, and so maybe I'll do all my tutorials in the future using Comic Sans. And if you want to see some of my other tutorials, I'm going to have them linked over here. Maybe there'll be a Comic Sans one in there. 
probably not. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and thank you very much for watching.